If tempting your significant other with hot singletons while deserted on an island wasn't challenge enough, try surviving as a couple in the concrete jungle. United or divided, we got the scoop on where your favorite couples from Temptation Island are today. We're here. We're here. We can't turn back now. <laughs> so no we back. are here. Aaron and Corey. Opposites attract, right? Well, that might not be the case for Aaron and Corey. As the new couple shared not a thing in common, they both slowly realized the differences were almost too much to bear. As a happy-go-lucky party girl, Aaron made it clear of her track record only dating semi-famous athletes, and Corey, a homebody that preferred to keep to himself, felt inadequate in comparison. Being the free-spirited woman Aaron was, Corey loved that about her, yet worried that he he would bore her out of their relationship. Once they enter Temptation Island, they dealt with their differences in new heights and on new grounds. Erin decided her initial attraction was more lustful than unconditional, ultimately just not enough to maintain a relationship long term. I, I need to be happy with myself before, you know, we could be happy as a couple and so that's what I'm, I'm gonna work every day. Erin and Corey seemed to retreat as the show was airing, perhaps caught in the limit of another breakup or stuck on the roller coaster of their relationship. Witnessing the show expose issues they hid from the world put a huge strain on the relationship. Aaron revealed we never had a normal relationship. And like that breaks my heart. And just like Groundhog Day, sources are saying they're on again. Corey hasn't posted any content since the show's end, and his last post was on March 16th, 2021, to promote the season finale. Now, Erin has changed her tune. She currently has set her Instagram to private, with her bio stating, I cry a lot. Chelsea and Thomas. This dynamic duo seemed to have the best couple goals every millennial dreams of. Love you. Love you too. Babe. They both shared a deep connection spiritually and emotionally, actively working out together, yoga together, meditating together, reading together. It all looks so beautiful. Why did they step foot on Temptation Island's turf? I didn't um. want to come here. <laughs> Chelsea and Thomas began to reveal all that glitters is not gold. Chelsea's jealousy was insidious and due to Thomas's extroverted personality and his flirtatious spirit disturbed Chelsea. Thomas himself confessed his notorious commitment issues. Chelsea's trust issues took a hit when she saw Thomas doing what he does best, but this time he took it a little too far. And it's freaking me out. They decided to work past their issues and left the island together. Since the show wrapped and everyone went back to the real world, there has been some Instagram posts added by Thomas of them smiling and laughing and enjoying life. Yet knowing the issues they arrived and left Temptation Island with, we wonder if that's a facade or if the relationship actually survived the test of temptation. Chelsea and Thomas were upset by the betrayal of them on their show, claiming they had no control over the narrative of their relationship, with producers in their ear to persuade arguments, and influencing that by handing them continual amounts of alcohol. Referring to their negative impression on the show, Chelsea admits, we need to give you guys something to work with, otherwise there wouldn't be a show. Kristen and Julian. Speaking of grass being greener on the other side, Kristen and Julian were two attractive, thriving, and passionate people together for 11 years. And it feels like a dream. They met at a high school party, you know how it goes, Cute freshman knocks on the head quarterback's door for a keg stand and free drinks and they both live happily ever after? Well, that's how it started with Kristen and Julian. They say, you're only as loyal as your options and since Julian looks like a shirtless Jason Momoa slowly emerging from the sea, he had quite a few options to choose from. This resulted in Julian cheating on Kristen early into the relationship. That was the beginning of her broken trust issues only growing with time. Yet Temptation Island worked its magic and they left the turf with a reborn relationship starting off with a proposal. A thousand times yes, Julian. 
Kristen shared via Instagram, one year ago today, I was flooded with so many emotions, fear of losing you, excited to finally see you, and anxiousness of how I could possibly express the overwhelming amount of love I've bottled up for you. Currently, they're staying strong as a unit and plan to wed July 24th, 2022. Kendall and Erica. Now, Kendall and Erica's relationship is the human form of a walking contradiction, not only when it comes to Kendall and his impossible expectations of his girlfriend. When I'm giving my best, he feels like it's not the best. But also his inability to be transparent and vulnerable in the name of recovering the relationship. Kendall often confused the gym for a therapist and expected Erica to live his way, how he pleases, when he pleases, where he pleases. In no time, Kendall's excellent interpersonal skills led him to the sinking sand of temptation. He cheated on Erica one night. Oh, I'm good. I'm so good. And then before you know it, he cheated on her again another night. When the host asked if there was anything Kendall could do to win Erica back, she simply replied, Absolutely not. After the show ended, Kendall moved on from arguing with Erica, but rather head to head with his haters. And Kendall blamed the editing for his pompous portrayal on the show. He inadvertently threatened fans by leaving cryptic messages like, those that speak against me, great things don't normally happen to them because God doesn't like ugly. Erica left her final thoughts on her experience on Temptation Island, admitting, I hung out with him once. Once we got back, I basically ghosted him afterward. I wasn't okay with how I felt on the island. I'm upset things didn't end sooner. Ashley and Casey. Ashley and Casey appeared on season two and seemed to be deeply in love with each other. And when asked with no hesitation, Ashley would profess Casey as the one. Yet the outcome was rather unexpected for Casey and Ashley, but especially the viewers. Like most couples entering the island, Casey and Ashley began with a lot of trust issues due to infidelity. Although they had faith in the revival of their relationship for long-term success, they didn't get the outcome they initially intended or expected. Ashley's jealousy only grew during her stay on the show, with Casey's perpetual flirting with other singles on the island. I'm not connected with him anymore. Feeling betrayed, Ashley's confidence depleted when Casey admitted his indifference towards staying in a relationship. You know, yeah, that's, that is what it is. And that he would be fine if they broke up. Ashley decided to pick herself back up and be open to a potential relationship with a singleton named Ben. But of course, you don't know what you got till it's gone and Casey realized a little bit too late that Ashley was actually indeed the one. He proposed during the finale and Ashley flipped the script and rejected his request for her hand in marriage, leaving with Ben instead. Casey left the island alone, single and brokenhearted with a ton of regret weighing so heavy, he couldn't even face the woman he betrayed, ultimately avoiding the reunion altogether. When Casey asked about how he felt, he said every day was agony. Ashley and Ben left the island hand in hand together indeed, yes. But the fairy tale had a lifespan of about 48 hours before they broke it off due to accusations of infidelity on both sides. Now, Casey reportedly lives in Florida, while Ashley resides in Los Angeles. If you're wondering if Casey and Ashley tried to work things out, think again. Evan Smith and Casey Campbell. Bitter, scorned, and emotionally manipulative were the words to describe Casey on season one of Temptation Island. Yet, ironically, those ended up being the inherent traits of her unassuming ex-boyfriend, Evan Smith. Casey and Evan went to the same middle school and started their on and off 10 year relationship. During this time, she started to realize Evan's affinity for lying. She stated, he definitely had a lying problem. I didn't realize the magnitude of the lying problem until after Temptation Island. Once they entered Temptation Island, the initial intent to prove his loyalty and cement their companionship into a long term relationship backfired. I've needed that. You couldn't give it to me. He switched like a light and fell for real estate agent Morgan Lawler. Evan professed 
I've known for a long time that Morgan is my other half and my soulmate. After the show ended, they moved in together and he eventually proposed. Morgan said yes. The end. Just kidding. After Morgan and Evan decided to spend their lives together, their relationship crumbled. Morgan exposed everything, claiming Evan was a con artist with seriously twisted narcissistic and manipulative ways, and how he made millions from his multiple business endeavors. Morgan persisted that Evan get a real job to help pay off the debt she had from covering his expenses, but when Morgan suggested he get some serious psychological help, Evan ended things with her. After the expose, Evan deleted his Twitter and moved to Mexico as a last ditch effort to escape the backlash. Casey, along with Morgan, put her story out there to be known with a two hour YouTube video breaking down the events of their relationship with Evan exposing the common thread of his manipulative tactics. They have both moved on from Evan and put forward a new chapter with hopefully a better track record. United or divided, we now know where the couple stands since arriving hand in hand on the territory of enticement. As the new season begins, the drama is starting to heat up and we will be here to give you all the scoop. Which couples were you rooting for? Comment down below, subscribe to The Things Reality, and hit the bell to keep up with all your favorite reality shows.